In a matter of seconds, he wiped out the Lee family, quickly murdering them all without a moment's hesitation. And as the corpses lay before him, Marcus calmly grabbed the paper bag full of cash, then waltzed into the next room as casually as ever. What are you waiting for? We're not done yet. Keep an eye out for anything valuable, got it? After scrounging up whatever cash we could find within Lee's diner and ordering three corpse removals, Marcus took a seat opposite the side room, gesturing for me to do the same. Happy to move as far away from the Lee family as possible, I grabbed a chair facing the opposite direction, choosing to glare at Marcus rather than glance over at the dead bodies behind me. Uh, uh, don't look at me like that. It's part of my job, all right? It's part of your job to kill people for no damn reason? Oh, please, like you're one to talk. Besides, now that my cover-up job with murder is gone, thanks to a certain someone, I'll be doing a lot more from this of this from now on. Cover job? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, you didn't think I was working with you because I like moving furniture, did you? I was working for Murdu to help explain my suspiciously high income. My real job is far more dubious. No, I already gathered that much. What I mean is, what is your real job? What kind of job means killing people like that? Well, do you remember Karasu, the man I told you about in the underground stadium? I work for one of his underlings, collecting gambling debts, many of which are accumulated in that very stadium. So Marcus is already working for that man, huh? No wonder he knew so much about that stadium and had keys to the side entrance. That still doesn't explain why you had to kill those three. <sighs> why are you getting so hung up on a couple of corpses? Mr. Lee not only failed to pay his debt, but he also started dealing drugs on the side, obviously without Karasu's permission. That kind of deception cannot be tolerated, and... He needed to be made an example of. Hmm. As much as I hate to admit it, I understand what Marcus is saying. Mr. Lee became indebted to the wrong person. When he tried to avoid paying what he owed, any self-respecting crime ward would have him disposed of. But there's one thing I don't understand. Then what about the girl? And the wife? Why should they die because of what he did? Ha! Ha! You aren't even trying to think for yourself now, are you? There are two reasons why I did what I did, and even if you don't agree with them, I'm sure you'll understand. First, there are many people who care more about the lives of their families than about themselves. By killing the family of someone who does wrong, others are warned that their actions will impact on their loved ones, given even the suicidal reason to think twice. And as for the second reason, tell me, Suo, when a woman and young girl, living in a town like this, have their sole source of revenue taken away, and an insurmountable debt pushed onto them, what do you think will happen? Debts and no source of money? A little close to home, huh? But they aren't you. There are only so many ways ordinary people can make a living in this town. In all likelihood, they'd wind up working in a massage parlor, or out on the street corner, and even then, they'd never repay their debt. If I didn't kill them, that sort of life would have awaited them. A life of never-ending debt. My situation might not be ideal, but if there's one thing I'm thankful for, it's that our parents left Sarah and I money and a real estate, not debt. Even if we can't touch any of it right now, one day for sure we'll inherit what's rightfully ours. So, all cleared up? I guess. But why did you drag me here? I thought you wanted me to learn how to fight. Oh, keen to get into the ring, huh? The thing is, trustworthy collectors are far more valuable than meatheads who know how to beat each other's brains in. Given your incident with Morju, and the fact that you didn't seem interested in fighting for a living, I thought this might be more up your alley. Hmm. Well, he's not wrong. Does this mean you're going to be killing more people? like you care. But no, chances are that I won't. This visit was an outlier. Most don't turn violent, and certainly not fatal. There's no money to be made by killing people before they can repay their debts. Ah, 
just a second.